Yeah, man, I'm a. Uh, I haven't been this scared in this game in a long time. <laughs> I'm. I'm still not at all convinced that we're safe from the horde. Welcome back, everybody. Seven days to nine. Alpha twenty one. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And in this episode, we are going to spend the horde night in the hospital. Uh, so we need to get going uh, immediately. I'm not even going to double loot anything. Well, you know what? I should have probably at least checked the ambulance, but oh well. Um, and uh, so what we got to do here is we got to secure the hospital before the horde night starts, and so they can't get. To the upper floor so we have to get the entire first floor cleared out and then um make sure you know that they can't get up here um another thing that i think i'm going to start doing with tier fives in particular is uh i don't think i'm going to loot as we go i think we're going to clear the place and then i'll come back and loot and i'll only show noteworthy loot and of course the end loot uh, on camera of course, we're not going to do it that way tonight. Uh, tonight, we got to just get the first floor cleared ASAP and secured so they can't go up above. Um, now, I haven't, um, I haven't been in this hospital, you know, since they redid it either. So this is my first time trying it out under the new, uh, you know, the new uh, design of it. So did I? And you know what? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I keep thinking I'm going to loot. I'm, I'm just so used to looting him, but let's not loot. Let's just go and I'll take care of the loot later. Uh, but this, what I was going to say is I need to bring my impact driver so that I can get the blood bag off of that. Okay, so that clears this room here. It's a darn good thing we have a sneaky sneak maxed all the way up. All right, so we got another red dot over this way. It's a greenie. We should. I, mm, can we one shot him? Let's find out. Yeah, we can. It's usually like you know Hawaii Five O and Biker, those really really tough greenies that I can't one shot. Yeah, we should be able to get a lot of blood bags out of here when we loot later. Assuming it doesn't all get destroyed in Horde Night, that is. Alright, that guy's just outside. That leads out <clears throat> to the courtyard there. I'm act I'm not gonna go this way right now, but I'm gonna open it because it's a it gives us a good quick way to get back. Um, you know, from the courtyard back out to our Oh, this is different though. This used to be all enclosed in here. How interesting. Okay. So we have to go down to the basement before we can, uh, you know, move to the next level. So uh, I'm not even worried about that guy. Let's just go. All right, I see red dot that way. Is that a zombie right there? I don't think so. I think that's a trash bag. Alright. Let's just look around here real quick. Okay, so that's clear. You know what I keep forgetting to put back in my inventory or my my um night vision parts. See any more red dots at the moment? Okay, that door's unlocked. I'm just waiting for an ambush here. Alright, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, those doors are locked. This is just another bathroom, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. It looks, it still looks very, uh, you know, familiar to the older version of the hospital. But I know it's not exactly the same. Because I don't think that was there before. If I remember right. So this is a storeroom. And they, and they want us to go up that way? Looks like maybe that's the case. We'll get the filing cabinets later. I do remember the laundry room. But I think we got in it a different way. Look at that guy there. Now right, let's make sure everybody's loaded here. Here we go. Come to Papa. That was our first ambush. Let's get rid of the irradiated guy. All right, that wasn't too bad. We've had worse. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the morgue too. It's it, again, it's it's similar but not exactly the same. Okay, so let's go this way. We will loot, you know, high, higher end stuff, but the basic stuff, I'm not gonna mess with right now. Okay, that door's unlocked. Um, hold on a second. All right, that was just a storeroom. There was no way to go there. Okay. We just got to get through the basement and back up to the next floor so we can get the place secured. I remember this room too. That's like the receiving area. This, however, looks different. Oh, no, that's the cafeteria. Okay. Yep, I do remember all that. I thought we had to go through the ceiling to get into that room in the old building, though. All right, I see a leg there. And I see somebody over there. Let's get these on the toolbar. I think we can one-shot uh, janitor. Okay, I see two more red dots. I don't know if we can shoot through that hand truck or not. Nope, we can't. Well, that sucks. Okay. Maybe we can... There's a good headshot right there. Nothing like the smell of headshot in the morning. Uh, is that his head there? Yes, it is. Okay, dispatch. Let's check this bag. Grab that. Um, I really shouldn't be messing with this right now because we are actually running out of time. But let's grab it anyways just because it could potentially get destroyed. Oh, we should, this could be this could be bad. <laughs> let's open this up. Get ready. Nope. All right, so that just goes out. Back out to here. Okay, cool. Let's check these vehicles because they might get blown up. Um, I'm actually leaving all of that stuff there. That we will take. This we will eat. All right, let's get through the... Actually, let's look in through here. Wow, this is way different. Uh, nope, not taking any of that stuff. The military parts would have been nice, but I got a lot of that stuff already. 
Did we? Oh, right. We just came out the other side. Okay. Robotic headlamp. Okay. Alright, this is big ambush area. If it's the same as it used to be. But it's also a decent place for some sniping too. Uh, Alright, let's check this food pile. Nice. I'm gonna stick that in there. And I'm gonna stick this stuff in here too. And I will come back and get it later if I remember. It's a big if. Uh, we used to be able to see up into the ceiling, but we can't anymore. Okay. Well, eh, look at all the red dots. Expect an ambush. Well, actually, there's a freebie right there. And another freebie right there. Maybe they're not all up in the roof. Uh, I don't trust this place, though. <laughs> I'm going to be ready for it anyway. Yeah, see? See what I'm talking about here? These sneaky, sneaky little nurses. And lab zombadoodles. All right. I think that takes care of all of them. Let's get our crossbow bolts. Not even gonna mess with that stuff. Let's drink of this. Check this side. Yeah, I guess we'll grab the water. Okay, this was the this door. I'm gonna break it open now just so we can get through back through it quickly if we need to. Good. Okay. Now into this room. And this should lead us back up stairs. Okay. See red dots? I don't think there's anybody in here. Okay. So he was in here. Um, are they behind here? Probably. Yep, there's one right there. That red dot. Oh, here they are. Nice. Okay. Crossbow bolts. Let's go. We're doing okay on time. We don't we don't have time to dilly dally, but we're doing reasonably well. Alright, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Let's break these stairs out here. Okay, so <clears throat> as long as we ourselves stay out of this area, they won't they won't see this as any kind of a path to get up to us. That's the theory anyways. All right, let's continue on here. I'm not I'm still not 100% convinced though that we've secured the entire place, so uh there used to be like some cave-ins or something that I think they were able to get up here. That door's locked. We'll go around this way. Let's 
yeah, they can't get over there from that, from there anyways. All right, I see an, a Marlene on the floor, but we only got a butt shot, not a head shot. And then there's a red dot. Somebody's behind that counter. Let's see. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Nice one. Oh, this is still the ground floor, isn't it? Yeah, right, okay. So we're gonna have to work our way through the courtyard. What time is it? I'll tell you what, before we, before we do that, um, I wanna go check the other side of the building on the ground floor. We don't actually need to worry. In fact, I probably didn't even need to do that at all now that I look at it, but I wouldn't need to worry about anybody coming up this way, that's for sure. So we're going to break through here and see what's going on on the other side of the floor here. Let's go. Oh, we've got these escalators. Those are going to have to go. All right, let's go in here. I don't think there's anybody else in here. I don't know where that stupid spider is. Right there. That's where he is. He was probably in this bathroom here. Let's deal with these two red dots over here. Double tap. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, grab those. The rest of it I don't really care about. That door's locked. This is, um, yeah, we just came through that way. Oh. Oh, nice. Off of his head. All right, I'm not... I was going to say, I'm not super worried about this building, but I should check it just in case there's some way they could possibly get up. Yeah, I don't know. 
We need to get to the other end of, this, of the building. And we need to get these escalators out of here. Oh, good. These are easy to break. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was that wasn't so hard. Okay, let's go through here. I should probably take a... Oh, this is where we started. Yeah, okay. That's where we started. All right, I need to look at what's going on over here. Um, Because if I remember right, which I might not be remembering right, but... It seems to me like there was possibly a way for them to get up over on this side. Yeah, see? Right here. Right here, baby. Okay, so let's do this. You know what I should have done in hindsight? Should have just busted these stairs out because they could potentially break break through there as well. Ah, oh, shit. That's what I should have done. Okay. Um, or even there. Yeah, I better do it. Should have just done it this way in the first place, but at least I'm seeing it now and not after it's too late. Okay, so just like before, uh, we just want to avoid this area altogether. So they don't think they can jump up and get us. Now, I don't know. I still don't know for sure if we are 100% secured now. Um, <laughs> we might not be. Um, I'm going to actually make some blocks to have on our toolbar in case we need them to quickly get up on something. Um, okay, so... The other spots that they could possibly get up would be possibly along here if there's a way for them to get. Well, I was thinking more like over on that end of the building, actually. Could be vultures up here. There's no could be about it. Get a headshot up there. Unless we do this. Now they have vultures in the way. That's one way to get it out, I guess. Okay. I want to... Remove this ladder here. We'll go up. Actually. This gets us up to the next floor. Okay. So I think this side of the building is... secure from them being able to get up here. But you know what? It's just about Horde Night, so I guess we're going to find out soon enough. If they do get up to this floor, you know, we can at least get up to here. Um, 
whether or, or what that's going to actually do for us, I'm not sure. Um, but we could also then nerd pull up higher up onto the roof. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I I am not at all confident that we're <laughs> that we're safe from the from the horde. You know, and then we still have to contend with all the tier five sleepies in this place too. So, well, here they come. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is let's go back down to this floor and let's just see. Are you? What the hell? I don't. I don't think that was the horde. I think those were sleepers. Yeah, I think those were just sleepers. It's gonna say, how did they get in so quickly? They're lagging like crazy. I think they're spitting from down below. This is going to be a bad horde, too. <laughs> All right. Let's go in here. Feral Screamer. That's fun. Woke up a couple baddies in here. I'm like scared right now, you guys. <laughs> I'm like so freaked out right now. <laughs> I, I want to say though, if they had an, a direct path up here... You know, from the get-go, they would have they would have already been up here. That doesn't mean, you know, through breaking blocks and other things, that they won't find another way up. But I'm kind of thinking we just need to move up higher, and obviously we'll get rid of this. So that that gives us some um, a little bit of safety right there from the horde. Of course, the hospital itself is still going to be nasty as all get out, but... Okay. I'm lagging really bad, too. Um, let's see here. I hate to throw water away, I really do. Um... But we might have to, unless I can make a stash crate. But I just want to um, also block this off, too. Just so there's no doubt that that's not a pathway up here. All right, let's move up to this next floor. Let's all go in there. Yeah, man, I'm a. Uh, I haven't been this scared in this game in a long time. <laughs> I'm. I'm still not at all convinced that we're safe from the horde. Um, anything can happen, you know. Don't bother looting anything. That door's locked. I think 
that's just a tree that they took down. So I'm going to have a hard time fighting a big rush of Zeeks with the frame rate. Um, what is the frame rate? 11, 13, 14? Yeah, it's terrible right now. Locked. That door's locked. Um, I think I'm going to cut my way through here. Now I really do wish that I would have brought my night vision goggles. It's dark. Okay, I see five red dots over that way. But what I actually want to do is I want to... I want to get to this end of the building because there's another stairwell on this end. But here again, I mean, if that stairwell was intact, they would have been up here a long time ago. So I don't think it is, but I just want to look at it anyway. And, and again, I have to be really careful because it's going to be very difficult to fight an ambush with these fr this bad frame rate. Yeah, I see a green foot right there. Okay, so there's the stairwell. Let's um, take care of this. Ooh. You first. Now I can't see Marlene's head, so let's just chillax here for a second. Wait for that body to disappear so I can get a pop off on Marlene there. But yeah, obviously that stairwell is is broken or they'd be here, up here. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm also trying to reassure myself. <laughs> I'm scared, you guys. Okay. We got this, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Now we're down to two red dots. Other ones may not be in this bathroom here, though. Yeah, they're not. Well, there might be one right here in this corner. Nope. Okay, we're good. Marlene doesn't have my crossbow bolt. See, and you thought when I said I'm taking the Horde Knight off it was just going to be boring. No siree, Bob. This is still pretty exciting. Oh, that goes outside. Okay. Yeah, I kind of remember... Oh, shit. I kind of remember this. Okay, I see... One red dot out here. And that red dot might be hiding in there, but you know what? We don't got to deal with them right now anyway. Okay, yeah, so there's the broken stairwell there. There's a whole mess of them down there. Uh, I don't... I could throw a grenade at him, but... I'd rather not kill them because then that's just going to spawn more. And I don't have a, nowhere near enough munitions to, you know, to make that effective. Oh, 
Did we wake you up? Damn, frame rates. There we go. She's out. All right, let's take this skill point here. Uh, what are we working on? We're working on dead eye. So three more points in dead eye, and then we're finished with the perception tree. All right. Well, I guess what we can do is go try and carefully clear the rest of floor three. already woken a bunch of them up here. Good. Okay, I took care of them guys. We have another red dot. Over there somewhere. Is she... yeah. She... I think that that's a, a female zombie from the sound. Okay, let's not worry about her. Let's go around this way. Must be a room right on the other side of that wall there. Yep. Okay, she's dead. You know what would be the absolute worst right now? Is if we walked over a collapsing floor. <laughs> Drop this bag down below. That would be the worst. Okay. Don't think there's any Zeeks in these rooms because I'm not seeing any red dots. So let's move to the north side of the building. Yeah, we were in this hallway earlier. door was open. That's where we came up. That door's locked. I think we, yeah, this was a little, a little break room. All right, let's go through here. checking that everything's loaded. Let's get our shoddy down here too. So, I'm not sure if we're supposed to go out that way or come in that way. I think if it's the same similar path to the old building, we we came we came in that way. But of course, I'm not following the path in the normal fashion. And I kind of don't want to go outside right now, so we're gonna just stay in the building and make our own path here. So I think this north. And is uh, the only place we haven't done anything with yet. Yeah. 
think that's just a corpse there. I feel an ambush coming on in this room. I don't have any fort bites. Okay. Well, we'll have to make do. Okay, I see one, two red dots. I don't think there's anybody over over here at all. Okay, so they must be on the other side then. So probably one behind that partition and one behind this partition. Go nice and slow here. Man, I wish I had my night vision goggles, damn it. Okay. Nope, oh, he hurt us. The other one has not, though. So let's back up and let him get out here. up the other sleeper too. Fortunately though these guys are not all that scary. Ooh, no, me no likey. Glad we came over here because if they would have found a way to the second floor, then that would have been coming up this way for sure. Um, can we reach down there? Oh man, it, I'm lagging so bad. Oh, we can. Good. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, just for the hell of it though. I'm going to also do this. Okay. So I think we've secured, uh, or cleared rather, floor three. So the next logical thing to do would be go to go up to four floor, which... Uh, floor four, rather. And I think that's the surgery floor, and there's some. There's usually a pretty nasty fight up there, but let's um, head up that way anyways and see how things go. Once morning comes, you know we can we can kill whatever's left of the horde, uh, but I don't want to do that until morning because obviously. If we kill them now, more is going to respawn. Man, I hope none of this stuff collapses. I don't remember it collapsing, but that doesn't mean they didn't change something. Alright. Floor number four. Okay, that way is blocked off. Might have some baddies in here. Nope, I think we're good. Okay.
Yep, this is surgery. Okay. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should just stay put and wait till morning because this this room is nasty. At least it used to be, and there's no reason for me to think that it isn't still. <laughs> um, it's mostly because of the frame rate, you know? So I think maybe what we should do is wait until morning. See if we can clear out at least some of the Blood Moon Horde. If not all of them. And then we can go back down and make sure, you know, floor two is completely clear because... I'm not sure if it is or not. Do these doors close? Yeah. Um, and there's probably a trigger in there too, so even if we are stealthy, it may not make any difference. We could go see what's over on this wing though. Why don't we do that? We only have one hour left till morning, so... Okay, so these are just more patient rooms, as I recall. There could be some Zeeks in there. Let's go look over in here. Oh, this goes outside. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go outside. Not with the vultures. Let's try these two rooms and then and then we're just gonna sit tight until morning. Okay, I see one red dot. Try this room here. Okay, so there's another pathway. I think that's a go outside pathway, not a come back through pathway, but I don't know for sure. So I think these two rooms are clear because I'm not seeing any red dots. All right. So, yep, I'm just going to hunker down in this corner and wait till morning. So I'll see you guys in uh, about 15 in-game minutes. <laughs>